Hi friends, happy Tuesday. We're gonna paint the ice cream truck set tonight. Let me get you guys pulled up over here, make sure we're live where we're supposed to be. Whoops. Wrong button here. Say hello when you hop on. Let me know that you're here. Last night I painted and assembled the new mini um, store cart tray. And tonight we're gonna do one of the inserts for it or the attachments. So here's our little cart. I'm not finished. I'm gonna go through and paint my edges. So we're gonna do that real quick. And I actually just got done painting um, a project I started. Well, I was gonna start it last night, one of the classes with another crafter. Tamara Bennett has a little um, thing going on right now. And I finished my Lola the cow. So that's what I was just doing. And so I'm covered in paint. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. Hello, hello, I'm not seeing who's on here yet. Say hello when you pop on, see if I get your comments. So I'm gonna start by just finishing this card up real quick. And I'm gonna, I don't normally do my edges in white because they're laser etched and so they're just are automatically that dark color on the sides. But I'm gonna do it on this one. I just feel like the white, or sorry, not the white, the brown, the black whatever color it is the burn marks stick out really too much for my liking on this one so I'm gonna go ahead and just cover them a little bit they might not be covered perfectly I am wondering let me see Facebook I'm not seeing any comments come through so I'm wondering if you guys are talking to me and they're just not working Nope, not seeing anything there either. So maybe nobody's talking to me. That's okay. I'll just talk to myself. So see, all I'm doing is just taking some white paint now and covering the edges a little bit so that that dark burn mark is not so um, evident. I just feel like it sticks out a lot um, on this tray. So normally I don't cover my edges, but on the tray on this set, I'm going to. I think it'll just look better when all the kits are done and in the cart. So doing this real quick, just to finish this up. I could have done it before I hopped on live even, but oh, I was gonna tell you guys though. So yesterday when I did this live, we had trouble fitting the pieces in the inserts in the front. I couldn't get them to attach. I must've got too much paint um, on mine. So I just wanted to let you guys know when that happens, I just use glue and set the piece where it should go. Kind of held it there for a minute and then it dried right in place, even though they're not technically, it's not really stuck in there in the slots like it should be. It won't fit because I was painting sloppy yesterday. All right. I think that looks much better. And I'm gonna go through and do some detailing on it just to like make it a little bit more finished looking. All right, so today's project we're gonna use or do this little one right here. It's the ice cream shop one and mine actually broke. So I always keep the, I usually keep the damages either that or I put them in the scrap boxes. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one so I didn't have to recut it. So it's a cute little gnome and ice cream, hold on a second. So here's the ice cream piece. We've got our little gnome here. I'm trying to look at my, my little cheat sheet to see how it goes together. Here's our little ice cream goes on top here. And then it'll say ice cream. So a little piece we didn't do yesterday. And then our little banner that'll hang off the front has little ice cream cones and popsicles. Oh wait, this doesn't go here though. Where's this go? Hold on, friends. So this goes on here. We got our gnome's little nose. Our gnome is holding some ice cream. Where does this go? Oh, up top here. Okay, it's gonna go in our little piece. And then see my, my banner is what broke. So let me tip you guys down. So here's what we're painting. We'll go ahead and get started. Hey, Tamara. So. I'm actually gonna start right up here with this top piece because I didn't do mine yesterday. So I can start putting my kit together and showing you guys what it should look like. And like I said, I just got done uh, painting um, 
a little project that I was doing just for fun for myself. So I'm covered in paint already. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just my light brown to make my ice cream cones. I'm gonna do the same thing over here while I got it out. And these are actually 3D pieces, so you can't go wrong. With the paint there on those ones. This one's a little bit different. It's not, it's not got a 3D top on it, but that's all right. It'll work. And then I'm gonna set this off to the side a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use, oh, let's see here. I actually have water tonight because I was painting for myself. So I was using some brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint the edge of this little round piece in pink. I'm gonna do like pinks and blue, maybe purple. I've already got those colors out on my plate anyways from the project that I was just doing. And they're nice and summery colors, so that's what I'm gonna do. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Okay. So there's our start, and I think my ice cream on this one's gonna be pink. If I feel like it's too much, I can always change it, but I think it'll be cute. All right, so there we go. Cute little ice cream cone, and it's gonna go on top of this, but I'm gonna use this pretty blue for my little background piece, but I need a little bit more of that. Raise this a second. Watching the snow. We have a ton of snow from yesterday, but I don't think we got any new snow today. Thank goodness. I'm ready for spring. My son and my parents are leaving for Las Vegas in the middle of the night tonight. So I'm jealous that they're gonna be in nice warm weather, warmer weather at least. I think it's supposed to be in the 60s there. And I will be here watching my nephew. So we'll be here hopefully with no snow though. I don't know what we're gonna do. Watch Mickey Mouse. Ready for spring too, yes. Cannot wait for spring. All right, so I like those two colors together. I think they're pretty. So this is gonna go on top of that and it'll be our little piece that goes up on here. So actually, while that's dry in a second, I'm gonna take this back out and I'm gonna get out. I got this tiny little thin Sharpie marker and I'm just gonna kinda go around the outlines. Of my pieces here. I don't even know what you call this. Just kinda make it look a little bit more finished. Like the roof of the shop? I don't know. Is it really a roof though? I'm gonna kind of go through some of these. I might not cover them completely. Like I'm not gonna go, there's gonna have little spots, you know what I mean? And then I don't know if I want to try to go around some of these edges or not. I don't want to mess anything up, but. I said I just want it to look like it's finished. I don't like that. I do not like it. Actually, I do. I like it when I look at it like this. So I think that's good. So see what I did there? It just made that pop a little bit more. Awning. There you go. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Ladies. You're ladies, not guys. All right, let me hit this with the dryer real quick. So yesterday I didn't finish that part to show you guys how it worked, so I wanna finish this first, and then we'll move on and do the rest of it, and then. Ooh, my glue. So the only thing that's gonna get glue is this ice cream cone to the little circle, and that's gonna fit right in this interchangeable piece. Hi, Deborah. how are you? The glue is almost gone. I swear I struggle with it every time now. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I might have to open a new glue. I've got another one here. I just have been putting it off because there's still, you can see it in there. It just takes forever for it to get to the bottom. So let's see here. Is this the thick? Uh, yep, this is thick. I don't want to use the thin. I have some thin stuff too. And I can't remember if I had to cut the top off of mine. I think so. I've had it the same one for a long time. Hopefully that worked. There we go. Oh my goodness, guys, to use glue that actually works again, that's incredible. So I'm just gluing my little cone down on there. Let it kind of hang off. It's a little bit bigger than, where'd my lid go? Here we go. And this piece is just gonna fit perfectly right there. And then when you go to switch it out for your next piece, it just pops right out. So all of the little mini kits have one of those. So they fit on the truck or on this piece as well. Okay, back to our ice cream tray. Hello, Trisha. Hi, Tina. Let's do this. We already started this piece. And you know, now that I think about it, maybe this whole thing will be wooden colored. So let's go in here and do this real quick. Like I said, mine is broken, so you can see that piece right here that's kind of, hold on, how's it go this way backwards, okay. It's broken, but I'll make it work. It'll look decent enough. There we go. Okay, so now I like to do, I don't know, I like my, I like, I just like my pink and blue. I don't know if I want to do any other colors. Let's do a pink popsicle. Am I in the camera? Kind of. Let me scooch back this way. All right, so we got our pink popsicle. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that over here. And then we've got ice cream cones. Should we do blue? And all my ice creams are gonna be blue if I do it that way. Same kit goes on car or mini truck. That's correct, yep. I'll show you, I'll show you both. I haven't actually put it in there, but it's supposed to fit in there. So I'll show you both when we're done painting it. I don't really want them to be the exact same color. Pink, blue, maybe purple in the middle. Let's try that. So we'll just have blue ice cream. We'll have different popsicle colors. Yes, they may not be. There's blue ice cream though. There's blue ice cream. They might be a little crazy, but that's all right. I just want some fun colors. Blue moon, yeah. Need blue for the blue. Yes. Definitely. This purple's a little bit light, but I think we can get it to cover good with just the one coat. Okay. And you guys, I didn't link it again tonight, but I will when I get off of the live. If you're watching this and you have not seen the giveaway yet, I do have three month, um, a three month subscription giveaway going on right now. So I'll get that link in here if you haven't entered yet so that you can enter. I don't, I still don't remember if I'm drawing on Sunday or Monday. Um, either way, the winner will be announced either Sunday or Monday, whatever day the winner gets drawn. I don't remember what day the contest ends. It'll show you that information um, on when you go to the link, though. So here you go. So we got our little blue ice cream cones. And our popsicles. So look at that cute banner. Isn't that cute? You could do Superman. Yep, Superman, Blue Moon. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side. Let's go ahead 
and do this piece. And I'm gonna stick with the same thing. So I'm gonna do pink on the outsides and blue on the inside there. So what color do I have pink on here already? I do, okay. I just wanted to see if I needed to clean my brush off or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. And yeah, usually I paint with the sponges, but I, like I said, I had brushes out already, so I'll kind of probably do a little bit of both tonight. I am not going to get to the new kits until probably Sunday night I'll cut so they won't get listed on the website until next week sometime I was gonna try and do them today and then um, I just decided not to work today really a whole lot earlier so and I did list some earlier this week so we didn't need any new ones yet right I'm excited for the new ones but I love this pink, it's my favorite. Maybe I should have done the blue first and then the pink so I don't have to worry about staying in the lines so much, but that's all right. It might've been easier, but we don't always like to do things the easy way. All right, I am gonna let this dry a second though because I don't wanna smear it. So I'm gonna let that dry. Um, and then we can go over here and we can work on this part while we wait for that to dry. And this is gonna be done in pink, but I am gonna use the sponge for the letters. I think that the letters are so much easier with a sponge. So ice cream. Whoops. And I did finally get my um, Facebook fixed where I'm able, thank you so much for sprinkling, able to download the videos again. It was actually not my Facebook at all, it was my computer. So I got that fixed and um, all of these are getting uploaded to YouTube. So replays will be easier for you guys to find again. I know it's a pain in the butt sometimes to go back and find everything on Facebook, especially after it's been a while. So they will start appearing back on um, YouTube as well. Okay, so this piece, where that little, oh, this is the piece. Just gotta use the other side. I'm gonna do this little candy bar wafer thing, whatever, and the same tan color. And then so we're gonna have our pink ice cream up here. And I'm gonna have a purple and a blue ice cream down here. I'm gonna cut my sponge. Well, actually, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this brush. So we're gonna have a blue. And you guys can do any color for your ice creams. I just, like I said, I was already painting. I had these colors out and I thought they'd be fun for an ice cream stand anyways. Got the blue. Hi Pam. Go ahead and get some purple for my purple ice cream. Which we didn't have a purple ice cream last time. We had a purple popsicle, but that's all right. We got an ice cream this time. And then I don't know what color I want my bowl to be yet. So we'll leave that a second. But I'm going to do, this will go on top of here. I'm going to give that a second to dry. I'm going to do my little straws over here or not. They wouldn't be straws, would they? They look like straws, though. I'm going to do them in pink and blue. Because out of all these colors, these two are my favorite. I 
I just love the way these two colors go together. So just like so. Hi, Tracy. So I'll have that like that. We'll have our little pink one on there. I don't know what color I want to do. I could just do white ice cream bowl. We'll see. I'm gonna set this off to the side a second and let it dry while we go over here and work on the rest of this background here, which we're gonna do in blue. So I'm just gonna kind of go around here easily and hopefully not have to touch up my pink too much, but if we have to, no big deal. I'm just doing the outline part first and then I'll go in and fill it in so that I can hopefully keep it pretty clean. Is this time change messing with you guys? I don't know why one hour has messed up my life so badly this week, but I have not been able to sleep at all. I haven't even been able to take a nap. I just have been, I had to take a little nap yesterday, so I can't say I couldn't, but I couldn't sleep at all today. I couldn't fall asleep at all last night. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit bigger brush and go in and fill in the metal parts. Now I'm not so worried about getting that edges messed up here. I just try to smooth it out so that you don't see all those brush strokes. If I would have done the blue first, I could have used the sponge, but. <laughs> All right, so there's one little spot here that I want to touch up. The rest of it did pretty darn good. I'll wait until it dried, it kind of turned purple, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit off to the side and dry so we can put it together in a second. And then we just have our sweet little gnome over here to do. And he, he she has got, um, like I think, like a waffle cone head. So we're gonna go ahead and do that the same color as the rest of our Ice creams, where did my, I keep forgetting it's on the other side of the pink. All right, so I'm just gonna go in here, and make this into, oops, into an ice cream cone. I totally didn't mean to do that. I dipped it right on my piece here and I meant to just put it on my towel, but that's okay. Part of it's gonna be tan anyways. I just put it in the wrong spot. We can fix that. All right. So it's gonna go on top of here. Let's make sure that's covered. Yep, should be good there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go back and give myself a pink ice cream cone for our little gnome because it is my favorite color. Maybe I'll have too much pink here. I don't know if that's if there is such a thing, but if you don't like pink, don't do it. Oh my gosh, Karen, no, I did not send a text. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, I need to make myself a little sticky note and stick on my computer so that way when I go live, I don't forget. I didn't have that option for so long, I didn't even think about it. I am sorry. I promise to do better. <clears throat> I think I've only missed it twice now since I've had the option though. So I'm doing all right. Just just could do a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna give myself some little cherries on our hat here. I'm gonna do 
a blue stem. How cute is that? Yeah, no, totally not you, Karen. It was me. I forgot completely, but like I said, thank you for the reminder because I will make myself a little sticky note when I get off of here, and hopefully I won't forget again. Hey, Pam. All right, so I am going to do... I think we're just going to go with white. What was I going to do white for? We're going to do white for our little bowl here, and I'm going to do white for our gnome's hair. So let me grab out... Or I do have a white already, so I just need to get some more paint. And let's see if I can grab a little scoop of it here. Probably way more than I needed. Hmm. Actually, I could have just taken it off of here. I don't know what I was thinking. It's all right. I'm going to scoop it back into my container if I can. Should be able to. All right, so there we go, our little gnome's hair. And then I'm gonna do our bowl. Hmm. It's so good till I got to that very end piece. Okay, and then we got the 3D part here, so I really only have to do this bottom part. The rest of it's gonna get covered. That's going to get covered. All right, stick this in here. Oops, I should have scooped it back in there right now, but I wasn't thinking. Thank you. I think this one's fun. All right, let's do... I'm going to need like a tan color for my little... Here we go. I've got one out already. Warm buff because we did... What did I do the other day? Maybe I used this for my paint thing I was doing. I don't remember. I'm going to use this for our skin tone on our gnome. So it's going to go on the nose and on the hands and I think that's the only part that shows of our little gnome okay I think we're good we're gonna go ahead and start gluing I'm gonna push this off to the side so I don't stick my arm in it and then We'll start gluing, and if I have to come back through and finish or fix anything, we'll worry about it then. Hey, Vicki, how are you? All right, so we have our ice cream stand. I gotta remember that this glue works so I don't accidentally pour it out all over the place and stick myself to anything. So much easier to use a full thing of glue. I'm working on getting my Amazon links back up on my website. I'm having a difficult time with it, so I'm trying to hire somebody to do that for me. So those should be there soon. So there we go. Ice cream. And then I'll go over here. Put our ice creams back on our little bowl part. I'm just going to hold it here just a second because I've been moving it too quick and then it doesn't stay where it needs to stay. I've got this little piece that's 3D. So there's our cute little ice cream dish. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's fun. Um, let's see, here we go. Here's our little gnome part, which is still kind of wet. Let's wait on this a second. It's still drying. I'm going to use this broken, broken piece over here and see if I can stick it together. If not, it's all right. You guys get the gist of what it should look like. Just wanted to use the piece instead of just throwing it in the garbage. If I can do this without gluing my fingers to anything permanently. Let's 
see they're starting to stick. So you do gotta be really careful. This glue is very sticky, but super good glue. All right, where'd my little ice cream piece go? How did I lose it? So there's our little banner that's going to hang on the front of our truck or our um, little cart. All right, I'm gonna let these sit a second. These did not pop through all the way on the laser, which you should just be able to take a pen, like I just did there, and pop it through if you get something like that ever. Um, shouldn't be an issue. And then I am gonna take my marker here, and I'm gonna kind of go along the outlines just to, like I did on the other piece, just to kind of make it stick out a little bit more, make it look more finished. You could do it on like the little wafer part too if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that, but you could do it on all your little cones. Um, I am going to do some on the little beard. So there's little etch marks on here to kind of make it look like the hair is flowing. And I did want to at least do that. And one other thing I do like to do with the ice cream is just kind of outline the bottom. If it's not a 3D piece, I feel like it makes it look more dimensional. So I did it around his hand and the ice cream cone there. Um, let's see, these already are 3D, so I'm not going to worry about doing this. I am going to do just on these parts, though. I said I wasn't. I'm not going to do the cone. I'm just going to do the little outlines on the popsicles and the ice cream itself. Just feel, ow, I feel like it makes it look... A little bit more dimensional I totally stabbed myself with that thing okay so let me pull you guys up here a little bit so again here's the little cart the shop cart is what it's called and it is for the mini tiered tray kits so the ice cream kit comes with this piece your little gnome your ice cream and then the banner which I didn't, I never keep my banner pieces either. I always tape mine down instead of sticking them on there, but it does come with the little hooks. So this piece will go in here, it's interchangeable. You could stick some Velcro on there to make it stay in there a little bit better. And then you got this little part right back here. And then your little gnome will fit in there and your ice cream. So we're gonna go just like this and then your banner would hang from here. Like I said, I'm lazy and I never hang my banner. I just tape it on or whatever. So how cute is that? So the same kit, let me show you, does work, should work. Hopefully I'm not lying to you all, but it should work um, with the truck. So let's try it out. But they're the same, they have to work. I just haven't used it. So here we go. I'm gonna take this off of here. So the little hooks I'm talking about are these. They'll come with the same little hooks for the kit, so. And then on this one, your circle goes on the bottom and it doesn't go inside of it, it gets Velcroed to it. So you'd wanna stick your Velcro on here, but that piece would go right there on your truck. I'm not gonna Velcro it yet. This banner would hang on the back of your truck. And then your ice cream sign and your gnome and ice cream would go right inside there. So definitely it fits inside the truck. So all of your mini um, tiered tray sets should fit inside of the truck shelf, I'm calling them, or the little cart, store cart. And I do have a barn coming soon too. So all there'll be three different shelves or trays for those and then all the different kits. So yes, they do work. I didn't lie. Does anybody have any questions for me before we hop off of here? Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna just put the spring one back together here real quick. I 
missing anything for the truck? I don't think so. I think that was it. All right. Well, that is it. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me again tonight. Um, I will be live again on Monday, unless you're in the paint club. I'll be live Sunday night at 6 p.m. for our, uh, what month are we even in? March for our March kit. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a great week. Bye, everybody.